Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. Appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us. Happy Easter. And on this Easter, have we got a special Easter egg for you. That's right. On this episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to walk you through how you can get your Sega CD games up and running on your At Games Legends Ultimate using the add-on tool and a USB flash drive. And we're going to show you how to do all that right now. Okay, guys, welcome back. Let's give you all the stuff without all the fluff. Let's dive right into it. So special shout out to developer, designer, and YouTuber Wildcoder. I'm going to leave a link in the video description below for this particular video, uh, as well as his channel. Do us a favor, guys, support him. Hit that subscribe button for putting this together for the gaming community. Um, on this video, in the video description, he has all the steps you need to take in order to get your... Sega CD games up and running on your At Games Legends Ultimate via the thumb drive. There's a few things you're going to need. For starters, guys, you're going to need the new Sega CD core. And all you have to do is click on this link right here, and you'll end up downloading the core. I believe it is called the Pico Drive core. That's right. And it, you'll download it to your computer. I've already downloaded it. Also, another thing you're going to need to find online are your game files as well as your BIOS files. Now, the BIOS files for Sega CD... Uh, to get those games up and running. Uh, he has the exact files you need listed right here, but don't worry without an issue, okay? Um, and of course, what you're going to need on top of that. So you're going to need the Pico Drive Core, you're going to need the BIOS files, and you're going to need the new add-on tool. This add-on tool came out about 23 days ago. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description below. This is the new uh, version of the add-on tool for creating UCE files version 2.24 that includes a batch mode option. Um, and if you don't use this add-on tool, it's not going to work. I did test using this uh, steps on the old add-on tool and it would not work. So you definitely got to use the new add-on tool. Don't forget that. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder in the root drive of your thumb drive. Uh, for your Sega CD UCE files. Uh, so you're going to create it, and this is where we're going to drop them. I've already made some test ones to make sure that everything's working, uh, but we're going to do one together. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a folder that's labeled content, just like this. And under content, you're going to create two new folders. Label one BIOS, label the other one consoles. Under the BIOS folder, you're going to drop the three BIOS files, which I'll have a link in the video description below for you to pull those. Uh, so drop those BIOS files in there. In the consoles folder, you're gonna go ahead and make a label, make a new folder called Sega-Sega CD. And inside of there, this is where we're gonna put the actual game data for all of our games. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new game. So the game we wanna make is Mickey Mania, okay? So we're going to create, so what do we need to put in here? We need to put in our bin file and our Q file for our ROMs, which uh, let's go ahead and pull those up. We're going to find those here. Now, unfortunately, I cannot share ROM files with you guys. You'll have to find these online yourself. Uh, they're not that hard to find. Just type in Sega CD ROM set and you'll find it, right? <laughs> okay, so I have them all here. Here's all the files for the letter M. Now you'll notice that Sega CD emulation games, what we have here is we have the bin file and a Q file. The one we want to do is Mickey Mania. Now what you have to do, guys, is it's imperative you make sure that everything matches the folder names and the names of the files that everything matches, right? So the Mickey Mania folder, we have to make sure that the punctuation, the spelling, everything is the same. And you're going to go ahead and grab that, the bin file and the Q file, and you're going to drop those into the Mickey Mania folder. Now, due to the size of the files, guys, they're quite large files. It's going to take a minute for those to go through, but we'll skip ahead here in the video. Okay guys, you'll see that the Mickey Mania bin, Mickey Mania Q file have been placed in the appropriate Mickey Mania folder. 
so we can go back to the root drive of our thumb drive, right? Now it's time to create a UCE file. Make sure you're using the new add-on tool. And also make sure all your game titles and everything match. Punctuation, everything. Click on, so, and also guys, make sure you're using add-on tool version 2.24 to get this to work. So for box art, let's go ahead and pull some box art. I went ahead and had some box art set up for this video to save us some time. We're going to pick Mickey Mania. Uh, for bezel art, I'm just using a standard Sega CD bezel. And we're going to throw that in there. Now for the emulator core, guys, remember you got to use the new Pico core, the Pico drive core. And for our game ROM, now this is important, guys. You want to use the Q file, not the bin file. So you want to use the Q file. All right, so we're going to go find our ROM, the same one that we were working with. And you'll notice when you go in here, it's only going to pull the bin files, but that's not what we want to use. Make sure you click on that folder on the bottom right, have it pick any file, and you'll see right here, here's the Mickey Mania Q file. Click open, and now we can go ahead and build our package. Where do you want to send it? We want to send it to the thumb drive, to that Sega CD folder where the add-on UCE files are. Click save. It'll build the package, only takes a second, and you're done. You'll notice here on our thumb drive, we have it in there. So what we're going to do now is we want to make another game, right? So we're going to go to content, we're going to go to consoles, Sega CD, we're going to create a folder, and we want to call this, uh, we're going to do the, what is this, Mad Dog McCree, right? So we're going to click on rename Mad Dog McRee. All right, so what we want to do is, as you can see, we got to make sure everything matches. So we want to make Mad Dog McCree. All right, so our folder matches. But you'll notice here that the file name has got all this extra junk on it, and we don't want that to show up on the menu screen of our At Games Legends Ultimate. So we're going to right-click on our bin file. We're going to click on Rename, and we're going to delete all that junk we don't want to show up. We just want it to say Mad Dog McCree. And then in the Q file, we're going to right click, we're going to rename this Mad Dog McCree. Make sure it matches, but also guys, don't forget now, click on, right click on it, go to open with notepad, and you'll see here the file name needs to be fixed here as well. So all you have to do at this point is delete all the junk. MadDogMcCree.bin, click on File, click on Save, and you should be good to go. Okay, so now we're ready to transfer the game data over. We're going to open up MadDogMcCree. We're going to drop this in here. And it takes a minute for that to go through. And we can get out of there. Now, while we were do while that was transferring over, we were able to get our box art all set up. We need to create the UCE. And we have to make sure the game title and everything matches. Mad Dog McCree. Choose our box art. Mad Dog McCree. Choose your bezel art. Let's put this one on here. Choose your Pico emulator core. And choose your game ROM. And remember, guys, pop quiz, what do we need to put in there? Do we got to put the bin file or the Q file? That's right, guys. We have to put the Q file in there. So let's grab our Q file for Mad Dog McCree. Click on any file. And there's the Q file. Hit open. Build package. Where do you want to send it? We want to send it to our thumb drive to the Sega CD folder where all the other UCE files are. Click on save. And boom, we're done. Okay, guys, we got one, two, three, four, five games in there. Let's go ahead and plug this into the At Games Legends Ultimate and make sure the games work. 
All right, guys, moment of truth time. This is the best part about <laughs> testing your add-on games is did it work? Did we do it correctly? We're going to go to our add-on. We're going to go to our Sega CD folder. We'll see the games we've created. Let's fire up Mickey Mania. And oh my God, it works. It's awesome. Super cool, guys. That we got this fired up. Let's take a look at a couple seconds of gameplay here. Your joy, your joysticks and your buttons are going to be mapped, and uh, they're going to be working just fine. Sega CD, although it wasn't a huge hit of its time, there are a lot of good games that you'll find and enjoy playing. In particular, it's famous for its uh, shooting games or the uh, point-and-click games, I should say, uh, games like Mad Dog McCree, Dragon's Lair. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, etc. Uh, there's a lot of games where all you have to do is literally hit a button on the screen or uh, uh, move the joystick in a particular direction, and it's going to work for you just fine. As you can see here on Mad Dog McCree, no issues getting this going. Nice shoot. Try another one. I mean, these games. These games are fun. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of geeking out here. But yeah, we're having a blast doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and let's kind of flip over. <laughs> look at the look at the bad motion capture on here. The graphics aren't that great. Okay, here we go. Now we got uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers up and running. And of course, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is all you do is, while the motion videos are playing, you got to hit the buttons uh, or uh, push the joystick in the direction that it needs to go. And it's, it's just like Dragon's Lair. If you screw up, your characters are going to get their butts kicked. If you do it correctly, it's going to work just fine. This is really cool that this works. I'm super excited that we can play some good Sega CD point-and-click games on our At Games Legends Ultimate. Wow, guys, it totally works. The Sega CD has a lot of those motion capture games where kind of like a Dragon's Lair, where you just do the directions or hit the buttons and you can get... You can have a great experience playing those really, really old games. The graphics aren't that great on all of them, but they're a lot of fun. This is so, this is really cool. I, I mean, I was a fan of Sega. Sega. I had a Sega CD growing up, so I'm kind of excited about this. Even though I, I hate playing console games on an arcade machine, I think that this one is pretty cool. Shout out to Sheldon Sims. Shout out to Wild Coder. Uh, and, I mean, take a look right here at this video, guys. You can get uh, the Sega, the Sonic Sega CD version up and running on your iGames Legends Ultimate. It looks great. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys have a fantastic holiday weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to use this and what your favorite Sega CD games are that you're going to play on the iGames Legends Ultimate. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also follow us on Facebook. When we hit 500 followers, we're going to be giving away an Aimtrack light gun. Uh, so don't forget to go to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. So it's facebook.com slash P-Dubs Arcade Loft. Make sure you follow us on Facebook if you want to be included in that contest. Hope you guys have a fantastic happy Easter. Hope you guys have a great holiday, and I'll be seeing you guys next week. Have a great day.